And if you are pleasing God, it's not going to be about pleasing yourself. It's not going to be about pleasing the world or others, your family or friends. It's going to be about pleasing God. So the way we're made into this world is how it is. That's how it is. There's no need to change anything. Yeah, we're going to feel insecure and bad because I definitely do. I hate my body. Like, it's parts of my body I don't like, but... Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Didi or Divinity and I'm back. This is gonna be a little separate video because you know I'll be doing my little weekly vlogs, but if you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you've been rocking with me, thank you for coming back. And yeah, basically I just wanted to do this video. I really was very touched when I heard about the passing of Jackie O, like, I used to watch her. She's like definitely a beautiful spirited person. And it makes me sad because I definitely understand the moms out there. Once we have these kids and stuff, our bodies do get messed up. Like, I don't blame them. I was gonna give me some surgery, okay? But you know what I'm saying? Like, I know, I was determined, okay? Because y'all, I didn't have eight babies. You can have one baby, your body does not go back to the same. Even if it looks good, your body does not go back 100%. You know what I mean? That's why a lot of us females, mothers, mothers, I'm not judging anybody, but as a mom, you go through a lot when you have a kid. If you're young and younger and you never experienced a lot of life and you're like 19 and 20 and you don't need no surgery, like, come on now. I do not agree with surgery. But after having kids, <laughs> I, I kind of understand. I kind of agree with it. So, my age look crazy. So, yeah. So, just prayers go out to them and DC Young Fight and them babies, man, them beautiful three babies. Man, yeah. I would watch her. Close the door. No, close the door. I'm doing a video. That's what I was saying. But, yeah, it's, it's sad to lose her or lose anyone. But, um,. This happens, y'all. That's why they have you, like, you know, fill out the papers and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like this does happen. They say it's a big risk when you're going under the knife. So, um, I feel as don't get surgery unless you really need it. That's me. This is not anybody else's opinion. This is my personal opinion. Um, uh, God makes no mistakes, you know. God knows. He knows how our life is going to be before we even know it. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it's, it's sad. I couldn't imagine going to get a surgery and not see my babies again. And um, I've just been watching the articles and stuff like that. And I don't know. I've been just, it's, it's just sad. It just made me feel real bad. And I was complaining about my life and this problem I'm having in my life and this problem I'm having in my life. And that just made me shut up. Like when I heard that, because life is beautiful. Y'all life is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Like seeing your family, your people, your love, your friends. And then like, I literally, if I cry, I'm sorry. I just really emotional because that's a mom. Like a kid needs their mom and them babies are so young and like how do you explain to children that their mother is not coming back how do you how does a kid process that like it just hurt, it really hits home it makes me very sad and i have my kids you know i told them about it and let them watch them, her videos and stuff i used to be a fan of her like i haven't watched her in a while but i used to stay watching i used to love her man but yeah, and watching her last vlog, that was heartbreaking. Like, she loved the babies, and I know she loved DC. You know, that was her baby, too. But, yeah, man. And I see how he's praying and stuff like that, so that's good. And I mean, I heard they had a good relationship with God, but, yeah, I know DC Young Fly, you know what I'm saying? He was, you know, man of God, so that's good. So, and I know she, you know, seen her praying and stuff in their vlogs and all that. But, yeah, man. So just be thankful every day. You know, tomorrow is not promised. And put God first, man. You have to put God first for real. Like, I have backslid and fell back, but at the end of the day, I know God has always been good to me. Like, for real. Just little things and 
stuff I go through in my life. And when I tell people that I am blessed and I'm very happy, it's, it's never been money-wise. I don't care about none of that. It's always been mentally, my soul, my spirit. Because I struggle with the worst depression, y'all, and anxiety. And for God to come in my life and remove my anxiety, like, it was so bad. And make my depression not as bad. God is good. So, you know, it is so beautiful out here, too, though, by the way. But, yeah. Just be thankful, y'all. And don't feel pressured by the world. The world. Know that you're living for God and not for world. That's what me and my boyfriend was listening to last night. We was just, you know, listening to some, like, YouTube videos about that. And it's just saying that God walks with you through the fire. Through any obstacles in your life, God is for you. And if you are pleasing God, it's not going to be about pleasing yourself. It's not going to be about pleasing the world or others, your family or friends. It's going to be about pleasing God. So the way we're made into this world is how it is. That's how it is. There's no need to change anything. Yeah, we're going to feel insecure and bad because I definitely do. I hate my body. Like, it's parts of my body I don't like. But I'm not going to change it. Like, I I'm good, man. And I really was going to get some surgery. I was trying to give me a little tummy tuck, little mommy makeover for sure. But yeah, just know I love all y'all. And I'm sorry this video is like wobbly. It's because I'm holding it. It was like real quick. Out of the blue, I wanted to just put this little video up. But yeah, I, I love y'all. Just keep y'all heads up and read your word. Yeah, y'all. I'm going to see y'all in the vlog.